Howdy, I'm Luna, and today we're going to be exploring some art in EverQuest 2. Today's artwork is titled Fair Seer Plaza and Palace Hotel. The owner and decorator is Tabitha. Its address is a luxurious Chromzec keep on the Kino side, located on the Skyfire server, and you can currently find it under the Hall of Fame on the leaderboards. All right, let's do this. So first, here's some information uh, if you needed to know. There you go. It is also on the leaderboards. You can come and vote for it, of course. Absolutely. Now, on the forums, Tabitha said that this was their first attempt, their first real attempt at decorating. Uh, with any bit of serious seriousness, but then they go on to say, and it's rubbish. No, <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. And I already know because it's art and everybody does their art differently. Plus when you're first starting out, you're still learning how to do things. You know, it's not going to be this perfect thing. I mean, that's, that's the thing is it's never going to be perfect no matter what you try to do, but yeah, it's it's an art form, so don't say that. It's not rubbish. We're going to go check it out and prove it to you that it's not rubbish. How about that? We'll go like that. All right, so we're in the Chromes at Keep, so here we go. Ooh, when I came in, I saw this stairwell. I thought this was cool because I don't know if I've ever seen anybody actually lay out stairs like this. And I've already checked because these are a house item I do not have, the ancient Bashir tile. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I could have I could have really used these. Like <laughs> I didn't know they existed. These are awesome. Okay. We got some lanterns. What are these called? They're not lanterns. But ah, oh, that's neat. I like that. A little stairwell there. Leading all the way up. Ooh. I saw the windows from down below. Oh my goodness. Those get massive. I mean, I think I knew that, but good golly. Well, I mean, I guess this is the crumbs that keep. You do have to kind of make things big or cut some rooms off because it's huge. We got some statues out front here. Oh, it's all the same statue. Okay. That's a good idea. Oh, there's even one way up there. Hold on. Can we see that from down below? Oh, whoops. I don't have my free fall on. Okay. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that before. It's like this guardian over the front door. Okay. We have some horses looking like they could take off with the carriage if you hitch them up. And they're in sync, apparently. <laughs> that is one thing that bothers me about actors and stuff in general is if you have actors or plushies that are all the, have the same action going they'll eventually sync up. And that drives me crazy because it's like, that's not natural. And that's an EverQuest thing. All right. Ooh, I like the yellow at the front door and all the beryllium. Beryllium? That's what it's called, right? Beryllium, yes. Lights. Makes it very bright out here. And I like this door with this yellow. Very pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like the reds with the yellow. Very nice. It's very looks very lush. And then you've left the gold trim. That's nice. Very, very lush. Ooh, yay, we have somebody, a house actor up here. Let's see. She says, let me make sure she is Beatrice. Yes. So Beatrice Fairseer says, Welcome to the Palace Hotel. I'll get you checked right in. Rooms to the left, atrium straight ahead. The dining room opens at 4 p.m. and is located on the mez... Okay, hold on. I can do this. I can say words. Mezzanine? 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 I don't know what that is, but it's a fancy word and I like it. Level two. To reserve a booth in the Sky Lounge, notify the concierge. First door on the right. Ooh, nice. Okay. So she said... That the rooms were to the left, 
There's other things. Oh my goodness, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the atrium, shall we? So we go through this nice arch right here. I like how you have broken this up. But oh, you still have some of the it peeking through. These columns are part of the chromes that keep. Oh, that's nice. I like that because it matches this whole gold, this yellow that you've been using in here goes really, really well with the Chromzek stuff that was already here because it has that gold in it. I like it. Oh, okay. So this must be level two. Oh, I walked right by you. You are another house actor. No, you're not. You don't say, oh, wait. Griddle Fuzzle Snot says, I have held the elevator for you. Please remember. Remember to bring your VIP pass if you plan on going to the Sky Lounge. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is an elevator. Oh, that's a good idea. Just, yeah. All right, do you say anything, ma'am? Excuse me. I don't think she says anything. Ooh, I love that uh, hairstyle on the wood elves. You don't see it used much, and I like it a lot. I actually just used it myself. <laughs> How sad do I just put in? But yeah, I like how you put the screens down here at the bottom of these columns. Very pretty. Oh, we have some more house actors. Benny says, I got my blessing. Oh, is that what this does? Examine the bowl. Ooh, I got blessed. Hey. All right, we got a group over here. They're having a private conversation. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh, do you use the potting plate? The potting, uh, what is it? Yeah, potting, potters, planters. That's what I'm looking for. The trees. Wow, very nice. Very beautiful. Okay, this is a magic mouth and I missed it. So let's see if we can't get it to go again. Okay, magic mouth. Let's do this. Fairseer Museum. Okay, let's check out the museum first. We're just going to go right down the center. Oh, the reds in here are nice. These tiles up on the top here almost look like, like lighting that's just like turned off. Oh, that's cool. And then the carpet on the floor made out of the, the, the lava tiles, but it looks like carpet. And it looks like we have a trophy. All their trophies that they've collected. Do we really have that many heads of things? What? I didn't know about these. Where do you get these? Very cool. I mean, again, I don't uh, quest much. So I sometimes miss out on stuff like that. That's probably like something really hard to get. I love how you've stood these uh, ones up in the middle here. That's cool. Oh, look. Yeah, you got all these trophies. Wow. Ooh, I like that sword right there in the middle. Ooh, yay! You have the craftable swords. I love it. Just kind of, yeah. So all this stuff on the walls. Wow, this is very impressive collection of stuff, for sure. And they're displayed very, very well. Ooh, I like that the little peacock is so pretty. Um, but yeah, displayed very, very well. Good job. Okay, next, let's go to the left and see if we can't find these rooms that we were told about. Nice. Nice ceiling. Always look up. <laughs> What's in here? Nothing. Okay. That's all right. I block stuff off all the time like that. That is an important trick to be able to do. Luxury suites. Okay. So if we would have turned left, we would have seen this little table. It's a nice little lamp. Looks cozy. I like it. The carpet on the floor makes it look really cozy. I like that. Painting. Ooh, that's right. We've talked about this painting in one of the last videos I did. One of the other videos. I like that painting. All right. Luxury rooms. Let's go check it out. 
Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at how you've been able to break apart all these different areas. This is good. Okay, do you say anything? Nope. You are just contemplating life. This might say something. Nope, it does not. Okay. A nice fountain in the middle. Sweet 101 Lover's Paradise. Okay. Ooh, this sounds fun. Uh-oh. Wait. I hope this is 101 because I've kind of triggered another magic mouth. But that might be that one. That's okay. Well, we'll check it out. We'll see. This. This looks like a lover's paradise. It's got, we got wine on the floor. Petals on the bed. Yep, I would say this is lovers. Oh, you made a canopy bed. Out of, yeah, because, okay, so this is the shadow double bed. So it looks like this. And you have added the pink pillows. And this is shadow two. Oh, no, it's lovers grind veil. But it has this, it's the same stone. It matches. And then the pink matches the pillows. Oh, nice. And you got one of these hanging lamps here with the leaf windows in the background we need heart windows i think the val the not the valentine's day the um Irolosi day window drops petals doesn't it we have a nice little air storage area over here sitting area oh and again leaving just a little bit of the chromes that keep peeking through very nice oh dear <laughs> This is for when you want to get real frisky. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, I like this little raised platform here. How you still can see underneath it. Little bench up here. And, oh, I like these tiles with this wood. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if I've seen that before. Just, you know, like these metal tiles like this. Oh, another sword. Must not have fit inside the museum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the ceiling. So that's the tile matches. Okay. Oh, ready? Whoosh. For some privacy. <laughs> like you need it in the lover's room. Oh, I like the hanging vines over here by the, the sinks. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. All right. Oh, there's the the toilet oh that's a good idea put it behind the curtain can you close again fine don't close be that way uh oh something is happening over here hello Seamus McTavish says mm. um uh I'm sorry sir I did not mean to uh walk in on your massage please forgive me let me go check out your shower before I leave Ooh, nice big shower I like that. Seamus, hun, you left the water running while you were getting your massage. Just just, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. I like the bar of soap over here and then the other soaps. Cute! I really like this lover's run so far. I, I like the little touches, like the, the vines hanging and the circular. You can see under it. Yep. Yeah, love those. Okay. Next. We have the penthouse suite, possibly? I think so, because there doesn't seem to be any other ones downstairs. So, ooh, we're going with the blue. Oh my gosh, there's so many curtains. I'm so glad that we can craft these. It, it just, oh, ooh, look at this artwork that they made. That is cute. You put the bowl of gems over here on this table. We got fountains. This is the fancy house, isn't it? My goodness. All right, open this back up. So look, it's like the um, windows, like the angled windows. Oh, that's a good idea. Just like little alcoves. And then we have the bed in here. I love the blues. And you've stayed with this... Uh, this bed. I like this bed. Shadow double bed. And then another angled window. Do you say anything, hun? Nope, you're just chilling. Every time I see these incense, somebody's asleep. Hmm. 
What's that all about? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so in here, we have a nice big bathroom again. Very cool. Okay, and a nice big shower. Oh, somebody's in here. Hey, get out of my shower before I call security. I'm sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> oh, look, you've added the jar, the vase up there for the water spout. Oh, that's cute. Very nice. Okay, sorry, Mr. Froglock. I will leave you alone now. The blues in here are just so striking. And that painting works really, really well. Okay, off we go upstairs. Uh... That's upstairs, I think. Oh, wait, no, I bet that was 102. Oh, 301, I bet, is above this one. This is 102. The Gables, I think it said? Okay. Okay, wait, what's underneath here? A bench and a clock. Okay, I thought I missed something. Let's head upstairs. Ooh. Somebody else just thinking pensively. Oh, <gasps> you have that painting. Oh my gosh, I'm super jealous. <laughs> okay, so we have a little landing upstairs here with one room. So I bet this is 301. Yeah, I, I think so, because I think Lover's Paradise was downstairs. So it was 301 Penthouse Suite. All right. <gasps> Ooh, we got stairs right away. Fancy. Okay. Oh, wow. The penthouse suite has some uh, some sort of a mechanism thing going on here, and you've added to it, because some of this stuff is not part of that, because the main part is just the, the orb and the little... Oh, but this thing... Okay, I thought the, the little doodad with the... Behind the fan. I thought that was not part of it, but it is. Okay. All right, we have some tables. <gasps> Ooh. This is a penthouse. Look. I love the purples. It's so pretty. It was, what bed is this it's supposed to be marketplace? I'm going to just, yeah, magic floating bed. Oh, it comes with the side tables, too. Okay, that's a nice piece. I don't know if I've ever seen this stuff. What is it called? Magic? Oh, pretty. That is very nice. And you have it floating, the dresser. That's cute. I love that because they're magic. Floating. Oh, wow. Ooh, what are you up to? Dasha Versier says, Moi, I look fabulous. Of course you do, love. Ooh, look at you. Look at all cute. Look at all these other outfits you could try on. Ooh, including a witch's outfit. Oh my goodness, the eyes on this painting are striking when it's this big. I never noticed that before. That's gorgeous. But yeah, I like the outfits that you put together over here. Very well done. And look at this, because it's a penthouse. Now we're going to go down the stairs again, but into something spectacular. <gasps> oh, it's an aquarium. Oh my goodness. You built a whole aquarium down here? I was testing to see if those were doors. I don't even want to know how much this room costs. Hello, sharks. I mean, my goodness. This aquarium has sharks in it. That's how fancy this place is. Okay. All right. That was very nice. Very fancy. All right. Head back downstairs because I know there was more to the right. Okay, I know you were getting close to item count down here too. This place is very full up. All right, over here we have a little guest book, I'm sure. Nice little cozy area again. 
concierge station, day trips, room service, etc. Oh my goodness. I wonder what's over going on over there. We'll check that out in a second before we go uh, take the elevator to the sky. All right. Oh, this is that's right, the concierge. So, um, Robin Na Fairseer says, "Good day. Are you interested in scheduling an excursion? Our specialist will be happy to help you. Please go ahead and see what we have to offer." I don't mind if I do. Oh, cool. You have like paintings of like different places you can go visit. I like that. So Concierge Lisbeth says, if you love nature, Fairseer Gardens is a great option. Are you who I think you are? Lisbeth. All right. She's got a flower. Oh, Fairseer Gardens daily. Okay. The family Fairseer has lived on North for, de for generations. Once wealthy settlers, today most of their properties have been turned over to the local preservation societies and are now museums. Fairseer Gardens originally hosted crops and pastures. The arid temperatures were ideal for growing bobble shower cabbages and torsus tea. However, as these crops became more widespread on North, the need for farming lessened and the land was turned into a visitor's garden. The day trip includes transportation to and from the venue, a picnic reservation, and a complimentary commemorative photo of you and your family at the little chapel on the hill. Oh, cool. I like how you've added that little touch of history. All right. Concierge Vitter says, The Fairseer Fortress Cragmore is a fine place to visit. Come, I'll tell you all about it. So, oh, look. Oh, and then you have, I didn't even notice. Look, you can go visit these places. So it's like a whole series. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so the book about the Cragmore Daily Excursion says, Shortly after the shattering, the family Fairseer abandoned this, their ancestral home, and migrated to other cities. Initially, they occupied the castle Mistmore, dubbing it Cragmore and settled into life away from the fields where Fairseer Gardens now stands. As generations scattered across Norath, the Cragmore boarded up unused wings until it became what it is now, what it now is, housing one family and a small garrison. Commerce abounds in the Cragmore, and it is the hub for the Fairseer family's travels, as it hosts a vibrant travel agency. The day excursion provides travel to and from the venue, a buffet in the garrison dining hall, and a complimentary blessing from the Arcanis, 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 Arcanis. Okay, I really like this how you've laid out your uh, housing portals in here. And lastly, we have concierge. Tardis says, if you prefer a quiet, calming setting, a visit to Tabitha Facier's Utopia is perfect. All right. So about Tabitha Facier, the youngest member of the Facier clan, is a master craftswoman specializing in carpentry. She broke from the family at the Cragmore and moved to Kinos, where she created a quaint, calming home for her and her pets. Utopia is a soothing environment filled with Tabitha's favorite possessions. Take some time to view her collection of action figures. Oh, to view her collection of action figures. Read by the fire to a soothing tune or help yourself to a drink in the wine cellar. The small outdoor garden is the perfect place to sit and reflect on the day while meditating over the floating flower beds and pond. Daily excursions to Utopia include travel to and from the venue, a box lunch, and a complimentary aperitif. aperitif. And it's undergoing renovations currently. Cool. All right. Well, come on, y'all. Come check out these other houses that Tabitha has created. I like the globe in the center. Very nice. Oh, coffee or tea. Yay. Wait, that's supposed to be marketplace. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, hold on. I'll examine it. But yep. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> and this couple... Frederick McGruber says, what do you think, dear? Shall we book a romantic picnic? And Priscilla McGruber says, whatever you want to do, my love, as long as we're together. Aw, sweet. Okay, 
Let's go check out what those big burly dudes were for. My guess is the vault. Oh, cool. So this is one of those. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to say it before I examine it. Gorowin vaults. Hey, hey, I got it right. And you've just hidden it. So it just looks like the door. And you got these two. Wow. Well, OK. He just got belly lint out of his belly button. But sure, they're guarding the door so splendidly. <laughs> OK. Let's head to the sky. What is it called? The Sky Lounge. Now, there was something said in this, uh, the special notes. She, they say, I am still working, uh, working out how to cover up the view from the dining room observation deck. I'm assuming that's the Sky Lounge. And she, they say, you'll see what I mean. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's find out. Oh, Oh, okay, no, no. There's, so there's two things. So the second floor is the dining hall, and I think that's what they're talking about. So let's go check that out first. Oh, look, we're up here. I didn't even notice. Oh, I didn't even notice there was stuff up here. Wait, nope, this must not be it. It must be the Sky Lounge. Okay, so these two... I can't see. Oh, nope. She doesn't say anything. Do you say anything? No. Okay. And so the maitre d d d d d d d says, "Do you have a reservation?" Sure, totally. Oh wait, 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 wait! I got this. Ready? I think I can do this. Here's your reservation. Nah. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at these nice tables. I love these chairs, these Kelethin chairs with these tables. Uh, they're having a private conversation. We cannot listen in. Jeez! <laughs> I love this. Look at this waterfall. Like, I didn't even notice. And then there's stuff up there, too. That might be the third floor that uh, we were told about. I love this. I love the glass floor. I love how the tables are on these little diases. Dais? Dais. Eh, doesn't matter. And we have snacks. Yummy. Oh, you say something. Server Deco says, please help yourself to a delicious treat. Don't mind if I do. Crunch, crunch. <gasps> Is that sushi? Om, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> here we go all right let's head to back to the teleporter and head up to the sky lounge vip pass required good thing i have a vip pass <laughs> oh that's right we, so we were seeing up above we got some guards here Ooh, they're gonna make sure i have my pass i do oh wow i don't know if i've seen these tiles blown up this big before I really like these. I need to use these more. Good lord. Okay. Uh, Alistair McCoy says, may I offer you a drink? Um, I just ate some sushi. Do you have any sake? It doesn't look like it. Oh, well. La, la, da, 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 da. All right. Do you? Oh, we're having that kind of fun up here. <laughs> uh, Perseus says, I'm waiting for someone. Don't bother sitting down. Okay, fine, kitty. Just have your fun. I won't talk to you. Oh, I see. Okay. Because you wanting to cover up the ceiling? Is this what you're talking about? Because, I mean, why don't you just take the ceiling out and then you can just look down at the lounge from up here? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not entirely certain what you're trying to do, I don't think. Or maybe I just haven't found the, the right spot yet. Oh, nice! Look, I love how you put the pictures, like, standing up like this, so then you can just put them all around. And I'm assuming these are members of the Fayer Seer family. Or maybe, like, the family crest or something. <laughs> uh, ooh, you two. Or just one says... A cuckoo says, I heard she sued that poor fellow who offered her a drink last week. What? Oh, so we're spilling the tea over here. That's what we're doing. Uh, this one. A, coo a kooka says that. 
All right, drinking wine and spilling tea. That's what you're doing. Oh, the red velvet rope back here is a nice touch. That must, is that a marketplace item? That's not it. Try again. Roped stage curtain. Oh. I like that. That looks nice here. All right, can you talk? Jinjin Jin says, better leave that Kara alone. She's a nasty one, she is. Oh, wait. Jinjin, Jin, is that this one? Oh, Jinjin. Jin. Okay, so Jinjin Jin and Akuka are spilling tea and um, about this kitty over here who apparently sued the bartender for offering a drink. Maybe not that bartender. Maybe a different bartender. I'm not really sure. But we're putting the story together. And then, who knows what happened to this guy? Erg is all he says. Are you okay, sir? I think you might have a problem. My goodness. Okay, and we got this nice star wall. I love how you've left the stone up here. It looks very luxurious. This whole place is just very luxurious. But yeah, I think, I'm not really sure which one you were talking about. We're going to go take a take a look here. If you were meaning the dining room, because I like how you can peek down. But yeah, mm -hmm. well, I guess it would have to be it's interesting. Yeah, that's one of those things. I don't know. It doesn't look bad how it is now. But you would have to figure out some way to get rid of these blue things, I think. Or make some sort of... I don't know. Have make Maybe have a wall that comes straight down from... Like, four walls that come straight down from there. I don't know. I don't know. But it looks really nice. Everything else is finished. It looks very, very good. Okay, let's head... Where do I even want to go? Let's go to the atrium to say goodbye, I think. Because that's just, you know, that first the first place you come to. So let's go up here. All right. So there we go. This was Tabitha's first real attempt at decorating, and I think we can all agree that they have done a very wonderful job. So please pat yourself on the back uh, and continue decorating. I would love to see more work from you, and I'm sure the rest of us would as well. So the next time, like, but if you finish those other four, other three houses, you know, let us know. We can put those up on the on the board on the board, okay? So thank you again for joining me for another video, and I cannot wait to catch you in the next one.